all very sad about it. Such a beautiful brand new engine. We're a bunch of sailors on a mission. The wind is just howling, howling. This is what it's like to sail in the mid in the winter. It's not the easiest, nicest, most comfortable place. But we'll make it interesting and fun for you. Let's go. Not a lot of sleep last night. Just to quickly recap, we lost the engine at 2 a.m. this morning. Re really huge swell out there, quite uncomfortable. I opted to sail to one of the closest ports. I was gonna go to Marsala, but then I went to Mazala, something like that, which is Mashala Mazala. And uh, I've been speaking to the Coast Guard, or actually rather the port control for about an hour, telling them I'm coming in, I don't have an engine, I can sail the boat in. And as we approached, literally Jay was 100 meters before, yeah. they said, no, you can't come in, put down the anchor. This 25 knots of wind out here, I put down the anchor on their instruction after they wanted to first tow us in and charge us 2,500 euros to just tow me for 250 meters. I said, no, this is not a salvage. I can sail the boat into the marina. I just need you to push me to the berth. That's it. Like a marina dinghy, that's it. No, they don't understand that. So now they've put me down um, like 100 meters before I was entering. No, don't come in, put the anchor down now. So I put on the anchor, I don't have an engine. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sail this boat up to the anchor, get the anchor up, and then I'm gonna sail the boat in there because the wind's howling and we're dragging. And I don't have an engine to set the anchor. So I don't know what the holding is down here. Obviously not very good. So I just told them now that I'm gonna pull the anchor up, I'm gonna sail the boat, pull the anchor up, and then I'm gonna sail the boat into it. I have about 150 meters of room of error. So let me show you. Right there. As we were dragging towards, that's the entrance where I wanted to go in, which when we got here, they said, don't come in. Uh, we dropped the anchor and the wind's howling in from that side. So I'm gonna try and sail the boat up, get the anchor up. So may, may basically sail the boat to the anchor and then sail the boat in there. Morning, Jovo. Morning. What are you cooking? Some banana pancakes. Yeah. Two different types here. You got your lacquer keto one. Oh, you made a keto one and a normal one. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Very cool. And we had some coffee, and mine's done. And um, I'm gonna tell you guys. We'll speak about the engine situation here in a little bit. So this is the first day that we are in Mazala. Yesterday you saw us come in and there was quite the raucous information from Coast Guard. They made us anchor out. Let's have a chat about that. This episode will probably be in two or three segments because there's so much information I want to share with you. So much we can learn, so much to, to know. And uh, let's do that here in a second. I'm going to have my banana pancakes and then we're going to chat. Okay guys, this is just my pancakes. Tell me, you guys eat this? You also get Vegemite. I'm sure my Australian and South African friends will know what that is. We have some brie cheese, we have some ricotta, cheddar, parmigiano. Um, what else? That's kind of it. That's all we need. Happy? Good for me? <laughs> <laughs> She says, no, 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 don't do this. Okay, I want to show you, we have a big 
tall, well not big, we have a tall Polish girl here, she's not the shortest, and she fits in the V-Birth really nicely, it's the Hover Grassy 36, and she even has a little hole that she can crawl through. <laughs> So yeah, I really like, look at the beautiful interior of this Harbour Grassy. So I am so in love with this boat, I really think it's amazing. <laughs> oh, fun with the crew on board. Please tell them that Polish girl is not included with the interior. <laughs> Um, so my reviews on boats are usually, is this boat for you? Well, I'm gonna say this boat for me, for sure, and I will tell you guys why. We still have a lot of chat about, and right now I'm just doing some paperwork as you as a captain do, and um, yes, we will have a really nice chat very soon. But this is the state of the boat right now, and unfortunately the engine is not working right now. We are all very sad about it. Oh, very sad about it. Such a beautiful brand new engine. You did? Yes. And how was it? So Aga went out to go and explore. Is it nice? Cut, because I want to wash my hands first. Oh, Aga can't be on for camera with uh, dirty hands. Jervis, tell me what you're doing. <laughs> Making some pasta. That's, it looks pretty good, I think. Okay, Sweet. Okay. And we're having some red wine and Aga just went to go and explore. So, what did you find? Sicilian carciofi because you asked of for it. Of course, <laughs> nice. And my favorite is actually the wait, the confitura, confitura. The, it's it's um uh, how to say orange orange preserve. Okay. Jam, or jam. Nice jam, yes. But like um original from oranges from. Texas. Okay. So, and what does town look like? Is it nice? How awesome is it to go with a sailboat to a new place and just explore? Isn't it amazing? It's amazing, but by sitting here, you just miss the most amazing sunset I've ever seen. I know, wasn't it amazing? Yeah. It beautiful. was beautiful. When I was going out of the shop, uh, the sun was reflecting on the on the buildings. And yeah. I was just wow. Yeah. Ooh, wow. We have some salad. We have some zucchini pasta. Yeah. We have some uh, what is that? Butternut. Some nuts. Putanesca, some putanesca. We have a very amazing uh, artichoke hearts, pecorini. We have some salami, some red wine. Some of it tastes like diesel. Some of it's really nice. Guys, we have about 35, maybe a little bit less now, 27 knots of wind and all we have for support on the, uh, at this point is the stern line and that bow line. And I am not going to rest assured that that bow line is not going to snap. So what we're going to do is we're going to winch the boat closer to the dock from the stern, stern uh, the midship cleat. So from the midship to the winch and I'm going to tie it off here and we're going to just make sure that the boat has some more support. That's just going to make me feel a little bit better. Right, so I've got a bowline there on the end of this dock, running there. Jebus, put it around the winch for me, this side of the stanchion. Yeah, and then winch the boat in, and then we'll take it to the midship cleat. The wind is just howling, howling. And uh, we don't want, if that thing snaps, the boat will jam onto this thing, on this boat. And we'll just really hurt the boat. There's no way that you'll get it off. I've already put fenders out on starboard side for if that happens. So just rather safe than sorry always. Yes. Right, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. The angle is not really midship. It's a little bit off. So it's gonna bring the stern out a little bit too much, but that's gonna definitely give it some support over there. And if that thing was to come loose, we have this line. So I'm happy with that. Now we can get off the boat. You see, we have a little bit of slack here on the stern line now, which is good. All right, Shreet, let's go. Let's go and explore this place. We're in Mazara in Sicily. We sailed here, it was an awesome sail, really rough, a uh, big swell. And we're in the winter in Sicily and the med is crazy during the winter. We were woken up this morning with over 40 knots of gusts of wind. And uh, yeah, fun, fun, fun. All right, guys, I hope you can hear me on all this bloody wind. Now that the boat is secured, we're on a mission to go find some fish. 
I see a lot of fishing boats. The weather is really crazy. I don't think that they've gone out to go fish, but let's go see what, what they have. I've got the crew with me, as you know, Aga, Polish sailor, and my cousin, Jabez, sailed around the world twice with his family. And uh, yeah, we're a bunch of sailors on a mission. Okay guys, spot the sailors. The one on the port side from the camera sailed around the world so many times. One on the starboard side, new sailors. Check. Musto. <laughs> oh, that's funny. My cousin's like in his church clothes on the boat. He's like, doesn't care about foulies, nothing. He's like, what's that? Ah, I think we found the fishermen. All the nets being repaired. All the guys standing around probably saying, you're doing it wrong, Peter. Come on, Giovanni, come on, man, I told you, like it this, like it this. Why you not doing it like it that? Where is the fish? Guys, look at our new crew member. What's his name? Floyd. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Floyd. Uh, so Floyd is going to explain to us what happened, right? Yes. Can you please tell us, Floyd, why, where are we, what happened, why are we leaving tomorrow, and what's our destination, and the situation with the engine? Okay, so we are still in Mazara del Valle since seven days, if I recall correctly. Uh, this is the place which has the biggest fishing fleet, so we've been fully enjoying the fresh fish <laughs> every night. <laughs> uh, the situation of the engine is still unclear. Um, the problem might be due to, to a water boiler that did not get correctly perched. Uh, at the installation so the problem is not covered by the insurance and this is why the easiest for us is to go back and to have it fixed uh, in Malta um, yeah so tonight uh, I guess last dinner uh, before we go before we head to Valletta so um, exactly don't you want to tell them about how they didn't want to let us in and then they didn't want to let us out <laughs> <laughs> and how I had to like really um, calm myself down. Well, so first of all, we entered this port by sail, which apparently due to maritime law, or at least Italian laws, is, pr is forbidden. Um, so they weren't, uh, first of all, very comfortable with us sailing in. When they found out that our engine is not working or half working, they told us, okay, you can leave, but only providing that you have uh, an authorization from the technician saying that uh, the engine is working, but let's say it's half operational so that you can at least set, uh, motor out from the marina. Okay. Um, that took about two days, right? Well, <laughs> <laughs> like everything takes about two days here in Sicily, <laughs> but buying a fish does not. Javis, I would like you to explain what happened when we got to the Commandante's office. When? Today, like how that, how, how that all went down, like the paperwork, and like, I would like them to just get a feel for what that felt like. It was a struggle. That's the best way I can describe it. It took a long time. Um, there was a lot of waiting. There's a mosquito full of blood. Look at that. Juicy. Ugh. Sicilian um, mosquito. That's not blood, it's red wine. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, it was it was a bit frustrating. I sat there for a while. It was a very nice English guy that helped us. Um, shout out to my boy Reckless126, I believe. Um, so that was good. And if it wasn't for him, we would have struggled with the translation a lot. But we got to meet the Comandante. We got to meet the Comandante, and he said, let him know when we get home safely. So he's... And we're welcome back. And we're welcome back. He's, he's thinking of us. We're in his mind. And... Yeah. Um, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, that's it. So, guys, there you have it. Not every sailing trip that you embark on, the passage planning might be on point, but just sometimes there's a little bit of a wrench, or so I'll say, a spanner in the view, a spanner in the work. So, this trip, beautiful sail here, the engine's giving us some problems. I do not want them to open the engine in Sicily because I don't speak Italian and there's five, six, seven different opinions. The best at this point is to go back to Malta, speak to an English Volvo uh, certified 
technician and then they will see what the problem is. So we spent seven days in Sicily, everything's locked down, we had lots of fish, a little bit of red wine, we enjoyed it but it's been quite a frustrating time. If you ever do come to Sicily, uh, just know that it takes a little bit longer than anywhere else in the world I feel. Probably in South Africa it's the same. So tonight last dinner, tomorrow you will see us sail back. We have the wind behind us, strong winds. We'll have following seas. I've made the decision to sail back under sail, no engine. We can use the engine only to get out and into port, which I'm happy with the sea state. I'm happy with the wind. Please don't do that if you're not that experienced, but uh, I feel like we are experienced enough on the boat to go under sail and the Coast Guard will track us and we'll see you back in Malta. Coffee, banana bread, Maltese sausage, uh, almond flour bread, sourdough bread. Nice coffee, we're getting a sleepy American. Some bacon and a singing Polish woman. What a combination for breakfast, loving it. We are just getting ready here to leave. Um, getting the boat ready, we have coffee. Jeff is bringing in the sail. We're checking everything on deck. Wow, that's really overexposed, hang on. So we don't have an engine. Uh, we have enough engine capacity to take us in and out of ports, which is what we'll do, and we'll sail the boat back. Lots of wind today, 30 knots above, gusting towards 40 probably. In the night, guys, this is the med. This is really not easy sailing in the winter. But if you do, if you do everything calm, safe, and slowly, um, you'll be safe. So we'll reef the sails tonight before dark to make sure that if anything happens at night we don't have to be sailing the boat into the wind, dropping sails, we'll just make sure that we're safe. We'll have full sails out today as we're sailing, a boom preventer which I'll show you how to fashion to keep the boom out and we're we'll putting the spinnaker pole on the head sail so that, that stays open as well because we'll be running away from the wind that means the wind will be from behind us pushing into the sails you call that wing on wing or butterfly or running that's the point of sail we'll be doing and I'm going to show you that it's a difficult point of sail to sail if you don't have the right means to keep the sails out the autopilot would generally not be happy to do that and the sails could flap either way. Um, that's what we're going to do today. It's going to be a fun sail. You're going to enjoy it. Let's go. Jabba, what are you busy with? Just packing away shit on deck. Okay. So here's our spinnaker pole. And uh, it's quite a, quite a beast of a spinnaker pole. And I think that what we'll do is we'll attach this side. We'll go to the ring, we'll figure out where it is, and then we'll attach it here, around that there, with a, um, there we go. Around there, you wanna put it there, through this hole, and it'll keep the sail out as the wind falls it from behind. We'll show you all that. Clean the anchor nicely, for if we need it to drop the anchor, these lines will come off as we leave. Is everything clean on deck? There's nothing that can fall around, move around. These things are not secured, so we have to check that. Will you secure that for us, Jebus? Yeah. Uh, the dinghy is secure. Very nice. Not the best way to do it around that um, live raft, because if you want to deploy the live raft, now there's a line around it. But the way that I do it, did it was below where it opens up. So just remember that. The solar panel will go back into the boat, all the lines will be cleaned, coolant, engine oil go down, we'll do the final checks, even though the engine is not functioning 100%, we'll check the belts, we'll check the oil, we'll check the coolant. Alright, it's a beautiful day, let's sail back to Malta. Enjoy uh, channel one, three. Mazzara Port Control, this is sailing vessel Cimere. We are requesting to leave harbor, please. Over. Stand by in this channel, left. Okay, yesterday we get permission to leave. I just want to let you know, now we are leaving. Over. One moment, sir. Uh, please uh, stand by in this channel. 
very annoying um, sometimes when you're in a country where they don't speak English like they have to relay back all the time we got permission to leave yesterday from the Comandante and now again it can take up to an hour for them to just get back to us so we're wanting to leave we just need to get the go-ahead if you see us move that means that we got it